Those looming spending cuts are becoming a serious concern to Native American tribes. President Obama met with hundreds of tribal leaders in Washington today, including a representative from the Oneida Nation tribe, to hear their concerns. NBC 26's Deandra Corinthios joins us live at 5 with more. Casey, local Oneida tribe members say their health care, public safety, and education funding are all at risk if lawmakers can't come to a solution. Tribal members say they're watching closely as the fiscal cliff talks unfold. The Oneida Community Health Center serves 14,000 people a year. And they say one third of the center's funding comes from the federal government. Oneida Nation Vice Chairman Greg Matson worries about the center's future. Now is the time that the action needs to be taken, and that, that needs to be positive action. Matson says Oneida Nation schools and Oneida law enforcement would also take a hit. Just last week, Tribal Nation sent a letter to lawmakers urging them to consider what cuts to the quote already minuscule funding for tribal programs would mean. It says an 8.2 percent across the board cut would mean deep cuts to critical tribal programs and will disproportionately impact already vulnerable Native communities. At the White House Tribal Nation Summit, President Obama says he's seen progress for Native American communities. We've strengthened tribal health care and made it more accessible. And he says he's committed to ensuring tribal nations continue to thrive. We're going to keep working together to make sure that the promise of America is fully realized for every Native American. Matson hopes the Oneida Nation's voices are heard, and he's anxious for a resolution to the looming fiscal cliff. We know it's a key element in how we need to set up our budgeting process. Now, according to the National Congress of American Indians, the Indian Health Service makes up just 0.1 percent of federal spending. The Bureau of Indian Affairs is just 0.07 percent of the federal budget. Deandra Corinthios, NBC 26. All right.